Hey guys, what's up? Simply Sasha Phone 4 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys, and I haven't done the review in a good minute, so I'm super excited, and I really do like the product. So if you're excited to see my review on the Maybelline Elixirs, then just keep watching. So if you see me in a, in a, um, the same outfit, sorry, I filmed two videos today, said, yeah. So the product itself is the Maybelline Elixirs, and I bought two of these products. One, because they're kind of expensive for drugstore lip products, especially because it's kind of tiny. But um, I guess the product should last a long time because it's kind of like a glossy kind of lip product so when I first saw it I actually thought it was just a mini lipstick I was like oh, that is so cool it's like tiny but I mean it was like really really cute and um but we kind of opened one that was already open and my boyfriend kind of saw it first and he opened it and was like oh it's a lip gloss that is cool so I'm gonna show you guys what the product looks like and sorry so the product looks like these I only got two of them so hopefully you guys can see that they're super cute and don't they look like lipsticks? You see, I thought they were lipsticks when I first got them. But anyways, let's get started. So the price of these are, I got these from CVS and the price of these are $8.99. I was like, whoa, Nelly, that's so expensive. That's like $9. It is actually $9. It's $9 and I think 50 cents with tax. Whew, that's pretty a lot. That's why I only have two because they have... A whole variety they have 20 shades first of all which is amazing so you get a lot of different nudes pinks reds purples it's really 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 I said pinks yeah really really nice but they're like kind of pricey that's one of the downfalls to this it's pretty pricey I think somebody said they got it for seven dollars at Walmart so I would check your Walmart you know to save an extra two bucks because, whoa, honey, $9 for a drugstore product? They might as well just put it with a high end. But I wrote down some pros for these. One is that it feels pretty good when you're applying it. It does feel pretty good. Um, it's like kind of smooth and velvety feeling. And I really like that. It has cute packaging. I mean, come on. It's adorable. Um, after you apply this and you've been wearing it for a while, like I'm wearing the purple one right now, and as you can see, it still has like a glossy um, finish to it. Um, and after the gloss kind of wears off, it does stay in your lips, so that's pretty good. So you don't really lose that much of the color of the product, so that's pretty good. I really enjoy that. Um, it has a high shine, especially when you first apply it. It's still pretty shiny. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like that, but it does have a really nice high glossy finish. Um, it's not sticky once you apply it. When you're putting it on, it does kind of feel a little teeny bit sticky. But now that I'm wearing it, it's not sticky at all. Um, it has 20 shades, like I said. It does last throughout most of the day. I do not have to apply it because it does stain your lips. So, and I've eaten, and it wears off like a little bit, but not that much. So, that's awesome. Um, it goes on smooth, yes. Um, you can do a sheer layer, or you can keep layering it to build up the coverage. Not... It's not, that, like, the darker shades, I feel like, are not that sheer, but it's still not as, like, pigmented once you put it on one time. You can make it sheer if you want to, basically. But, um, I have, like, maybe two, and this is the darker shade. On camera, it's pulling up really m more purple. Like, if I'm looking in the mirror, mirror, it's not that pigmented. Um, and it's easy to travel with. I mean, it's tiny, and it's just easy to put in your purse also so it's really overall a pretty good pro like pretty pretty good product so um things that I did not really like about it again was the price it's $8.99 I think that's kind of ridiculous I'm not the one to you know be bad mouthing products but that is kind of a lot I don't know if it's maybe what went into the product or maybe the packaging which it's little packaging so I don't understand why it would be I don't know maybe the ingredients made it go up somewhere maybe they wanted to try putting up to a higher price I have no idea but it's kind of huh. um when removing gloss when I'm rem when I like want to take it off of my lips it takes off 
all like moisture that was on my lips like if I remove this right now my lips will be dead dry like crusty dry that's one thing I really don't like because my lips are already dry to begin with but when it's on my lip I feel nothing it's not drying at all I don't know it's weird but it just feels like I have lip gloss on and it's amazing but once you take it off like my lips and I saw some other people say this too like when I was reading about it it is drying I I felt that so if you don't feel that I don't know tell me if you felt that in the comments down below if you have these tell me if you think it's drying I mean it's a great product but when I take it off I have to put like lip balm right after so I mean that's the only thing that I really disliked about it is the price and that when I take it off it's really drying but overall that's it here I'll do some swatches for you this is the purple one and again it's in Rap City Oh, and this is the, it's a doe foot applicator. The applicator is kind of like a soft kind of, it's not like regular doe foot applicator. It kind of feels like it has like hair, not hair. It's like soft. I don't know how to explain it. It's really weird, but this is how it looks. I just hit my camera and I'll do a swatch for you. This is Rap City and that's after two coats, which looks pretty pigmented if you ask me. But yeah, that's how it looks. And then I'll do the red one for you, which the red color is in Signature Scarlet 020. So, and that's like three coats of it back and back. So here's the red. Sorry about the lighting, it's really weird. So that's the red. So these are pretty pigmented. It can be a little sheer depending on which ones you get. I'm sure the lighter colors are probably a little sheer, but I don't, I'm not sure. Let me know if you tried the lighter colors and let me know what you think about them. But I, overall, I really do love these this product. I wear this purple one like all the time, even though it sucks to put moisturizer over them. But it's not a huge big of a deal, obviously, to me because I keep wearing the purple. I just got the red one yesterday because I want to have another one and I... I'm running out. I don't have any more red. But I really, really love this product. Um, if you guys... I'll leave some links down below to where you can get them. I got mine at CVS. I'm sure you can get it at Walmart, Walgreens, all that good stuff. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my music channel. Um, I did a cover of Wrecking Ball, so that's exciting. Hopefully you guys can check it out. But yeah, I really liked it. Let me know what you guys think of this new Maybelline product. Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's overpriced? Do you like the consistency of it? What do you guys think? And maybe we can have a conversation. So I'll see you guys on my next video.